Hello everybody, this is Scott. I'm back with another video. And in this one, instead of me trying to give you a tutorial on how to do something, it's going to be more like giving me giving you advice on how to get into Google AdSense. Now, a lot of people see, seem to be asking, well, how do I get into AdSense? How do I get AdSense? I want to make money. My site keeps getting rejected. What's wrong? Google AdSense is one of the most difficult advertising networks to get into, if not the most uh, the most difficult. Google AdSense generally doesn't accept as many newcomers as they're getting. There was a saying that for every new AdSense account that's accepted, four old ones are closed. Whether it was due to inactivity or whether it was due to uh, policy issues. Now I want to help you uh, basically to get your site AdSense ready and to show you that I'm not just some kind of like basically a hack trying to say well now would you know you don't have AdSense. This is my site and clearly it just I'm not going to go into the code of it. I hold over and it says Google services. Google services and that's an ad. I do have Google AdSense for my site. I can't give any information about what it is I do and specific details. However, there is something uh, I would like to talk about. To get into Google AdSense, you really need to work for it. <laughs> well, people, some people will get offended by this, but in all honesty, most of the sites that I have to deal with and how many the people that I I see are not AdSense worthy. On the Google product forums, like every day people are asking, well, how do I get into AdSense? What, how do I do it? It's not difficult unless you make it that way. AdSense, generally, the rule of thumb, if you're outside the United States, you have to have your website for more than six months. That's how you get into AdSense. You have to have for six months and have over like 60 articles. That shouldn't be the rule of thumb for people outside the United States. That should be the rule of thumb for everyone in general. Because it shows that your website's well established. For instance, my website's not big by any means, but uh, I do have my Facebook stuff, my Twitter information right there, my Google. It shows that I've expanded my grasp of people. For instance, when you're building a site, you your one your main thing is to get traffic. How do you get traffic? Yeah, social networking is great and all. It gives you a nice boost. But the problem is, eventually people will stop reading it unless they're following you. And I don't think people understand the idea completely, and then they end up quitting out of anger because they're not, they don't believe that they're actually accomplishing anything. You have to realize, the internet, it was not, the earth was not made in a day. It takes time for things to happen. My site is probably just a couple months old. I, I think I'm like at fourth month, third, how old am I? It's barely three months old. Actually, it was created on January 1st, was actually when I created the site. So, when my as my site progresses, I mean, I've already beaten what people say. January, and I wrote only like three articles. This was my privacy policy. This was uh, one post on what to expect of the site. This was my first ever real post. You could say my website was created and established on January 31st. So we're going to add the dates. We're just going to go by months. One month, two month, and three months in. I've had my site for almost three months. And my growth has been so much greater than that of other people. And I'm going to say... The amount of time that I have put in to research, I'm what people call a bookworm or a nerd. I researched, I figured out the best plan, I used my skills, I gave, I got a per, I got a good design that I liked from somebody, and I just put it together, and I realized this is so easy. People don't understand. Okay, let's say this: you have a new site, you want to get ads. It's because you're motivated by money. Yes, money is a great thing. We all love money. I love money. I like making the cash, a little, the little bit of money that I do. But my growth, you have to look at the chain of growth. What is big? What are people reading? 
And the issue is, is even if your articles don't get a lot of views or your site's not getting a lot of views in general, it doesn't mean you should quit. One article will be big. I still have yet to have my one big, like, my big hit. But you want to have, you don't want to have one big article. You want to have one so that way your site will see the growth. It'll get name out from sharing from social networking. You just have to wait for it. And to get into Google AdSense, you should be at least six months old. Google does look at how much you, uh, Google does look at how much that you post. They do look at the words. They, uh, they even determine where your traffic's from. If 90% of your tra traffic is from social networking, you will not do well. They will never accept that because it shows that your readers are generally in a niche group such as your family and friends. They want to have outside readers coming. Most of my actual things come from Google searches. That's great. You want to have that. And just so I'm not boring you, there will be. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna do the part two right after this.